Welcome. This is Blended Financing Spreadsheet, video tutorial number two. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I received a brochure of an income property with these actual numbers. I plugged them into my income analysis summary spreadsheet. Gross scheduled income, vacancy and credit loss, expenses, the asking price 900000 The listing broker was recommending an 80% loan to value at 4% interest per year amortized over 30 years. Now I looked at this offering and I noticed immediately that the net cash flow was only $10,000, which is a return on equity, a cash on cash return of 5.5%. And it's less than the offered cap rate. Now the cap rate of 5.68% is extremely low because this particular property is in the middle of nowhere the listing broker had to go 31 miles to find a comparable sale. That means it's not a comparable. Comparables are like two blocks down the road. This was a small town with only one 24 unit apartment building and it's being offered for 900000 So using the income analysis summary, I did some what ifs. I decided that I would set the interest rate to 5%, loan to value to 75%. And what my plan was was that the seller would get a refinance loan at 75% of the purchase price. That would be his down payment and he would carry back a note for the remainder. Down here in equity leverage calculations, this is where you calculate the cost of borrowing or partnering for the equity investment. Normally I recommend that you fully amortize the equity over 60 months, that's five years. In this case, it just wasn't going to work out. So I tried 7% over 120 payments. That's 10 years. Now in this spreadsheet you can plug in a desired debt coverage ratio for your combined financing. 1.25 shows the purchase price must be 491600 Now running these numbers this deal would work. It would cover the first position refinance loan, which you would take title subject to. You'd borrow the 123000 down payment, either from an equity partner or from the seller in this case, under 7% annual interest rate fully amortized over 10 years. That would give you a net cash flow of $851 a month for a nothing down deal. Then I transferred these numbers over to the blended financing spreadsheet. A refinance loan at 5%, 30 years, you have the present value and the monthly payment. The seller will hold a note for the remainder everything works out just fine. Then go over to Microsoft Word, open up the letter of intent commercial template. When this requester appears always click no because Word is looking in the wrong folder. Go up to mailings, select recipients, use existing list, Go to the comma separated values file that you saved. 
Click OK. Now preview results. And we have a letter of intent. Now just to bring home the point that I'm looking for a nothing down deal, I deleted this paragraph which says we have tons of money because I don't want to spend any money on this. I want the seller to carry everything. I deleted the incentive fee lines. Deleted the third position tertiary tranche because that's zero. Also deleted the wraparound Effective junior financing is gone. Also deleted the annual interest rate under the wraparound and all this other stuff because we're not giving him a wrap. I also edited the second position tranche and deleted the third. Deleted every reference to a wraparound. then we can do a save as PDF. Two, three, Elm. Letter of intent. Close out the file. Now we have the letter of intent. It shows the purchase price. We're asking for a refinance loan in first position, a 75% loan to value. Second position, seller financing. And all the other boilerplate. I'm asking the seller to pay for all the closing costs. This spreadsheet also allows storing multiple scenarios under the portfolio controls and you can scroll through the different scenarios with the scroll buttons and you can export your portfolios as a tab delimited text file you can also generate a mail merge and save it as a text file if you want to send multiple scenarios through mail merge this has been Blended Financing Spreadsheet, video tutorial number two. My name is Jeffrey Smith, and thank you for your support.